Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 31st, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and thank you for joining me today. We've got a lot to cover today as we have a brand new sunspot yet again. So we're looking at a active sun over the past three weeks. Right now we do have space weather affecting us as we have an earth-facing coronal hole. So our wind speeds, solar wind speeds, have increased to over 450 kilometers per second. Just looking at 193 angstroms, angstroms there. And then here we can really see that sunspot region forming. Still early stages right there. And with these images, you can really see the coronal hole, Earth facing, very large coronal hole across our sun. So geomagnetic instability has persisted across our planet over the past 24 hours. A lot of volcanoes going off, large explosive eruptions, as well as a lot of earthquakes. We're going to be getting into that really soon here. We're just going to look at the emerald wind and space weather prediction. As you can see there, we were elevated a day or so ago in wind speeds. They are projected to pick up to 600 kilometers per second today. And you can see a steady incline sitting at about 412 kilometers per second. So stay aware and prepared. Our sun is getting a little bit active. Pacific Disaster Center showing here extreme cold warning in southern Germany as there is a large low pressure system developing there and that will create a nasty wintry event for Central Europe. Watch for the five day forecast at the end of the video here. Across South America, many, many disasters, earthquakes, floods, volcanoes, thunderstorms, flash floods, and as well throughout Indonesia. These are all the latest volcano eruptions at Dokonov volcano went off yesterday after the 5.4 the Solomon Islands volcano era in Japan as well as Shevelich and Karamiski across the United States still dealing with a lot of avalanche warnings due to the mass amounts of snow that has been following in the upper Midwest. Straight up California to Washington and as well the foothills of Alberta. Banff and Jasper and Glacier National Park as well as Waterton Lakes. I want to thank you all for watching today and tuning in to Morning Dew and I want, you, I want you to let me know what you think about uh, the daily vlogs that I will be doing. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's. Here are the latest updated disasters on the Pacific Disaster Center. Fuego and Sebenkaya today, both igniting. And a lot of very large earthquakes. We're going to get to that right now. So here we're looking at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. And as you can see, it is very busy. Largest earthquake last 24 hours is 6.1 in Kimbe, Papua New Guinea at a 57 kilometer depth. And that was early yesterday. Another notable 6.2 today. 
in Santa Elena, Ecuador. So South America is rocking today. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody and anybody being affected by this large event today, 6.2 and many aftershocks, large aftershocks. So there's been earthquakes from Colombia straight down to Chile. Santa Elena, Ecuador. Let's just look at the depth here. Fairly shallow depths, except for that one there, 32 kilometer depth. And we've got as well, Hawaii increasing in seismicity. Another earthquake here in Mayotte, 4.7, 5.0 here in Turkey. 4.5 in Iran and another 4.1 in Afghanistan. Deepest earthquake the last 24 hours was 367 kilometer depth in Wallace, Fiji. Or sorry, no, it's actually deeper than that. That was the other earthquake, 367. There we go, 550 kilometer depth. But that's still not the deepest earthquake in the last 36 hours. There was a deeper one yesterday. Same region. 613 kilometer depth. 4.7. Nidoi Island, Fiji. Very volcanic, underwater volcanic area and active. As well, yesterday, 5.9 in the Mid-Indian Ridge. That's a pretty rare earthquake as well. Yesterday, we also had 5.2 in Itia, Greece. So, wow, we definitely did have an increase in seismicity due to the incoming coronal hole windstream. Looking at the last seven days for earthquakes, still looking at a lot of deep earthquakes all around the planet. Stay aware and prepared. Give thoughts and prayers to everybody being affected by these natural and disastrous events across our planet. God bless you all, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you've made it this far in this video, please let me know in the comment section, because we're about to get to weather it right now. Five-day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike. Across North America, still watching unseasonably cool temperatures. Coming down from the north, Alberta is about the only province, well, other than BC, but BC and Alberta are the only provinces experiencing some spring-like weather right now. But still watching, cold temps sweeping down from the Arctic Circle. Continual large low pressure system here you can see this one is deeper and bigger and heading back to russia no major storms to talk about cyclones or hurricanes but there will be a tropical depression forming here over northwestern australia later in the week Also looking at a pretty disastrous event throughout South America as they're receiving torrential downpours, extreme weather events daily. I would love to get some more news as to what's going on in South America. So stay tuned to Morning Dew. I will be looking into that and as well as everything else on our planet. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.